Swung away into the leg side. Protection out. Tricky match ahead, Frankie. Magician's been playing catch up. Get down, get down. Spoons over the top and a chance of a run out with a direct hit, and she's done it. Mercy Banks in the action. That is what the magicians are after. Oh. Competition. It's a leading edge from Gang. And then the confusion. There's no run there. Banks one handed out by half the pitch. Horrible. An international series where you kind of learn about batters and learn about the plans. That is a great shot, though, from Bella James. Gets one through that extra cover region. Yes! Oh, how's that? Oh, yeah. yes, Billy. And she gets the breakthrough. Gabby Sullivan. Fallen straight. Does the job. Better lock straight up. Yes! Oh, it's hit the bank leg. That's a nice, easy decision for Bowden. High fives around. The magicians are on. Slapped through the offside. It'll be a big chase for Gabby Sullivan. Will the ball win the race? Yes, it will. Timing just good enough from Ingalls. Nicely pulled away by Ingalls. He's coming to some form late in the season, and that's four runs. Bowling wide on the crease, Sarah Asmussen. She's creating opportunities. That's another chance. Knockout game. Why give the advantage to the batting side? Trying to restrict, and that is a healthy dive, but it won't be enough. It was very characteristic. That slog sweep of hers where she gets right down. You work it out from there. There's a chance, and it's gone. Angles. It was a good little cameo. It was building nicely. Unfortunately, couldn't resist. Asmussen flighted it up. Anderson takes the catch, and Otago lose a third. Huge moment in the match. Big appeal, big appeal. Gone! The breakthrough is made again. Asmussen, bang, bang in the over. Huge, huge wicket. Asmussen is falling in line with middle stump. Ibrahim looking to play around that. Sullivan back into the attack. That one is chipped and chipped straight to Satterthwaite who takes the catch. No safer hands in the competition. Thank you, Sid. Sorry you've... Just the change of pace from Gabby Sullivan. The skill execution to be able to run in and do that first ball of your over. Just getting the ball to hold in the surface slightly and go away. Oh, edge. Goes fine and should go all the way to the boundary here. Asmussen giving chase, but the ball wins that race. That's nicely played. Really is. A little bit of an invention. And that runs away to the boundary despite the best intentions of Fran Wilson. Yes. Bold. Amy Satterthwaite gets a wicket on her 104th match. She has one for 19. The Sparks loses sixth. Weaver Bowling takes away the length to be able to go to that favoured sweep shot. Oh, it's gone up. There's a big chance here. Taken by Wilson. That's the end. For Kirsty Gordon. Runs and then holds out. Big top edge. And Fran Wilson doesn't drop those. A good safe pair of hands, Fran Wilson. And there's a chance again. Taken. Yes, Kate Anderson. Sarah Asmussen has two in the over and she's on a hat trick. This is new rule means the new batter has to be on strike. You can't cross. And then she fails. No, she can find the fielder, and Asmussen has five. Sharp takes the catch. What a performance from that woman right there. Sarah Asmussen has delivered in this game for her team, for her captain. She has a best ever. Five for 17. And the Sparks are done. 81 for nine, they finish. T20 cricket, first five wicket bag ever taken. Sarah Asmussen, what a day out it's been. She's managed to do it. The Otago Sparks could never really get going. Layden Davis left stranded, 15 not out off the 12 deliveries. Couldn't get the strike in that last over. And really only Ibrahim to put a dent into the scoring. All the bowlers were reasonably economical. Two for Gabby Sullivan, who was at her miserly best. One wicket to the skipper. But the standout story of the day is Sarah Asmussen. Five for... It's been preferred. Is, the opening oh, is that an edge? It is! It's gone! And a 
Bits and goes very first, Paul. Can you believe that? Emma Black, unreal. Play the sparks. Great catch, you have to say. Polly Ingalls, excellent glove work. That's a big shot from Hughes, a really big shot. Six runs to Laura Hughes, that's why she's there, and that takes a bit of pressure off. Oh, Edge flies past Ingalls this time. Would have been a huge ask to get a glove on that. She was moving away as it was, Ingalls. Oh, that's clever, really clever from Satisweight. Turn the bat in the hands, spanks it down. Oh, no, that was a gift. Oh, and the spin's got it too. And that has been fended a long way to the boundary. Goodness me. And that's hit. short, and that's hit. Chipped, rather. Go on, Blast, go on, Blast, go on, and that should go to the long-off boundary, and that'll be four more. Hold a sh Down. Nicely cut away this time. Maybe cut off. No, four more. What an over that has been. Laura Hughes taking charge of this match. She's 27 from 15. Oh, through the hands. Sophie Aldershaw was fielding in close. And that's gone for four. Straight through the hands. Gordon looks. Pace off. Straight up. Should be out. Should be out. Is out. She's done it. Talked about it, creating something, getting that wicket, breaking that partnership, and Ibrahim has done it. He's on her way back. Well, she's done her job, Hughes. She's got the magicians off to a little bit of a flyer, chasing 82 for victory, but has been deceived on that occasion from Kate Ibrahim. That's good from Satterthwaite. That is beautiful placement and a lovely way to finish the over. Bit of class from the skipper, 57 for two. Oh, what a shot that is from Sharp. Oh, hang on. Fielder coming in, takes the catch. It's Blakely, and Gordon has done it. Cricket from Izzy Sharp, but on this occasion, she pays the price. Long on in place, doesn't quite get all of it, and comfortably held by Caitlin Blakely. Oh, it's carved it through the offside for four. Gee, that's skillful. That's classy. Just gave herself a little bit of room. Floated up and over. That's good from Cox. Got a little bit of width, and she went after it and finds the cover boundary at a crucial time. Nicely played and through the gap, and will run away, and they will run the two runs they need, the Magicians, and they finally have that win over the Otago Sparks. Three matches in six days, and they've won the match that most counted for everything. They're in a grand final. They win today by seven wickets. And with the batting, well, it's based around number three. Well, Laura Hughes at the top. Promoted to open, did a very good job because it was 28 from just 17. Gave the innings some momentum. And then... Well, the bowlers largely, they were good. Emma Black, the one wicket early. First ball dismissed, dismissed the dangerous Kate Anderson. Kirsty Gordon, tough to get away. One for 12 with 10 dot balls in her three overs. But it just meant the Otago Sparks, they were ever so slightly short, putting a total on the board. Rain interrupted on a couple of occasions. Polly Ingalls looked dangerous, 26 off 23. Kate Ibrahim, a runner ball, 16. Felicity Layden Davis, 15 not out off 12 and would have loved to have a little bit more strike.